guys and welcome back to another video to be exact this is my second ever video on YouTube now I'm gonna show you how to install Vista extended kernel I have to remind you if I didn't in my previous video about Windows Vista extended kernel and my first video ever that you're gonna need the Windows Vista operating system the 64-bit version not 32 bit not 32 bit version because it currently doesn't work although the devil the developers are working on a 32 bit version of extended kernel on windows vista now let's see first you're gonna need the vista extended kernel setup which is a folder i'm gonna leave uh, that is a folder that i got from a website called ximonate Dot com I think this is what it called anyway I'm gonna leave it down the, in the description also you need some kind of updates to see the updates we're gonna go to Google Chrome and if you don't have Google Chrome yet which you actually don't because you don't have extended kernel you're gonna go with MyPal or some other type of web browser of your preference and you go to cnight.com oh no this is not the one this is this is for extended kernel but another one uh, okay so let's see um, Vista extended Kernel. If you go to download, oh, why doesn't this play there? Okay, so here we are. Sorry for 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 me being late about that. Okay, so you see the description. You see with the Windows Vista Extended Kernel enables Vista X64 again the 64-bit version not the 32-bit version to use applications intended for Windows 7 and up such as Firefox 86 and Chromium 91 as I shown you in my previous video Chromium 91 okay so we're gonna go to download and you see here that this update KB447419 is a is a prerequisite for the extended kernel, which means you have to actually download it to not have any problems. I currently have my system fully updated to the max. I mean to every single update. I have installed every single update. Uh, and I would recommend you to do the same but if you want just to install this extended kernel uh, and not to be safe I guess just uh, install service pack 2 and this kind of update okay so we're gonna go to main download and you will get this file here you are going to unzip it and you will get here you open it and here we have two Windows commands. You're not gonna go with this one. You're gonna go with Vista X kernel setup. You're gonna click it and hit any button you and uh, actually let's open it. Please ensure that September 2019 updates or later are installed before continuing. That's what I said before. But the update that actually needs is the one that I've said this one here which is actually necessary to install this extended kernel now as you soon I'm not gonna do it again sorry because it took me some time I got some blue screen of death uh, because I didn't install myself this one this update and I thought how important can it be well it is actually really important eh? Re really important so so let's keep on with the process uh, you're gonna as I've said 
you go and run the external kernel setup here which is a Windows command and this will actually replace some files in system32 like CI DLL, kernel32 DLL uh, or user32, so 32 and it goes on. So uh, you let the process run, it should take some a couple of seconds I think so I think so, okay and not that part because it's very important uh, it will not say to restart I think so you will restart because it's very important and the Vista extended kernel if you don't restart will not actually be deployed you're gonna restart the system and as soon as you restart you're gonna have the extended kernel uh, installed if uh, everything goes right. Now if you have any problems or any questions about uh, Vista Extended Kernel please leave a comment right below and I will be glad to help you or answer your questions. Uh, um, please like and subscribe because it helps me a lot or if you didn't enjoy leave a dislike because that helps me a lot too to improve my videos uh, I'm the average Windows user and I hope you have a great night. Goodbye.